Hi everybody, I'm Jesse Baldwin, and I play Charming Yeoman in the Yeoman of the Guard here at Oregon Shakespeare Festival. And I'm also the band leader for the show, which means that I corral the orchestra and make sure that we faithfully replicate the score at each performance. Yeoman of the Guard, it's a lesser known opera of Gilbert and Sullivan, and one of their, their best collaborations musically. And it really lent itself to this country western adaptation. And this score is essentially Gilbert and Sullivan played by an acoustic string band. And so the score itself has been stripped away of the French horns and the cellos and the timpani and replaced with guitars and banjos and mandolins and fiddles and all that fun stuff. So all the actors had to play an instrument behind the score and many of them were coming to these instruments for the first time. And so we had to learn how to put together a country western song so in a typical Gilbert and Sullivan opera, you'll have a lot of pieces, your string section, your horn section, your timpani, collaborating together to create the rhythm of the show. And instead, in this particular production, we have guitars as the essential driving instrument that underpins pretty much the entire score. So another instrument that helps propel the rhythm in this show is the baritone ukulele. We have a couple different ukuleles in the show. This in particular is a baritone, and the baritone ukulele is actually strung like the bottom four strings of a guitar. You have a D string, a G string, a B string, and an E string, and you can play it like a guitar just without the top two strings. So it's very easy to wrap your head around if you have any familiarization with a guitar. We also have a pair of banjos in the show. This is a traditional five string banjo that you hear a lot in bluegrass music. And then we also have a unique instrument that is one of our rhythm instruments that is played by Jan Point in the show. And this is a banjotar also known as a gitjo, and it's a guitar-banjo hybrid. The banjotar is actually strung like a guitar, and so it's familiar to guitar players, kind of like the baritone ukulele. You play the chords like you're playing guitar chords, but you get the banjo sound. That was a sweet lick. The instrument that we get the most questions about in the show is this fellow here, a bass ukulele, and it's got the body similar to a baritone ukulele. Smaller than a guitar, but bigger than a soprano ukulele. But it has these polyurethane strings, which are huge and rubbery, and it gives you these great bass undertones. But people always wonder, where's the bassist? They don't look at this instrument and think, oh, you got those low notes. So people will come up to us at intermission and ask, do you have a bassist hiding behind the house there, or...? It has such a deep, rumbly tone. So once we got the foundation laid with the rhythm instruments, the guitars, the banjos, the banjotars, the ukuleles, and the bass ukuleles, we're able to start layering on some lead instruments to provide a little bit of harmony and texture to the show overall. And while we do have a couple instruments that were originally in the Yeoman of the Guard score that Gilbert Sullivan wrote, uh, we actually have a clarinet and a flute in the show, as well as a violin. Uh, we also have a fiddle, which is pretty much the same instrument, but just played in a slightly different way. We have uh, a mandolin, which is also in the fiddle family. It's strung the same way, just with twice the uh, strings, with frets and a different style of playing. Another instrument that we get a lot of questions about is the dobro. The dobro is in the same family as lap steels and pedal steels. Uh, these are instruments that are played with a slide and with a slightly elevated fretboard played through a uh, resonator cone inside a guitar body. And so what you do is you get interesting twangy tones that you will immediately associate with country.
Chazet. So we would learn the chords, the articulation, and then you had to get to a point where you just had to forget all about what your hands were doing so you could concentrate on singing. So that's a brief introduction to the musical instruments in Yeoman of the Guard. We also have some percussion instruments in the show. There's a toy drum, there are some musical spoons, there's a washboard that's played with thimbles, and then we also have an accordion, and we also have a musical saw in the show, which uh, I won't explain too much, you'll just have to come and see what it is. Thank you.